Hey guys, it's Rima. Hey, today we're going to be talking about how to improve your credit score. I know that plays a huge factor on um, the rate that you get on your loan. So I've got Heather from Modern Mortgage here and she's going to talk about ways to do that. Yeah, absolutely. What she said is completely right. There are a lot of different factors that go into pricing and interest rate for consumers. Um, the loan amount, how much money you're putting down, what program you're qualified for, but obviously your credit score is a really big factor there. It is. Um, a couple of just very basic tips that I would hope everyone would know, but it's something you should think about, especially if you're about ready to start getting pre-approved, would be to make sure you're making all of your payments on time. Um, a 30-day late on your yeah. credit can just absolutely kill you. It can be the difference um, and having an amazing rate and <laughs> not having a good rate, yeah. maybe not qualifying. So just make sure you don't pay things late. Um, there can be a bit of confusion between paying something late and a true 30 day late. So let's say, you know, you, you have a, a payment that's due on the first and um, you don't pay it until the ninth. That is, that's not actually going to harm your credit. However, if it goes 30 days late, that will get reported to the credit bureau. So just make sure you're staying on top of everything. We always tell people if you can put any of your bills, whether it's revolving or installment debt on an auto pay, mm -hmm. every single banking institution has that, just set it up. That way, you know, nothing gets missed accidentally because a 30 day late, oh my gosh, it can just crush your credit score. Um, other things to do, have open credit lines. Like I'm not mm -hmm. saying go apply for a million different credit cards. Yeah. That's not what I'm suggesting at all but have some open credit, like to build credit, yeah, you have to have credit. So go and get a credit card mm -hmm. and then maybe use that credit card for your gas every month and pay it off every month. Um, the last thing you wanna do is get a bunch of credit cards and run the balances up to where they're maxed out because then you do have a lot of credit, but you don't have any open credit. And as that cycles through, that can hurt your credit score. But if you have a few credit cards and they have very low balances, some lenders say under 50, some say under 30, some say under 20, but I really like to see those balances at 25% or below, um, you know, then that's wonderful for you. That, that reports positivity. You have open yeah. credit. You're not using all of the credit. Um, an installment loan, just make sure that you have those and you're paying them on time. If you want to kind of um, boost up your credit, um, you can go and just take out a small loan, mm -hmm. put that money in the bank you take the small signature loan from and have it automatically go back every single month. And that's going to help build perfect pay history. You'll start to develop a relationship with that bank. Um, but those are a few good tips about, how, you know, keeping your, your credit in a good space. Exactly. And especially for the young people that are wanting to buy homes and they're saying, hey, we don't have any credit build up yet. Right. So that's something that you want to start what Heather has mentioned mm -hmm. to get that credit line open. And then I obviously try to pay them off full because the minimum payment will probably be with it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Try to keep the balances low. Try to pay them off if you can. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's a good way to go ahead and start building up the credit and improve the credit scores. Um, anything else that you can think of? Um, you can also jump on and be an authorized user. So if your parents um, mm -hmm. have credit cards and um, they're in good standing, then they can put you on as an authorized user. That'll pop up on your credit report and that helps build things. Um, obviously, a lot of first time home buyers that are coming out of school, they have student loan debt, which yeah. is totally fine. But a lot of things can fall through the cracks. You're in deferment or you think you're in deferment or you came out of deferment or you went back in. You just really have to stay on top of that and stay organized. Make sure that if you, you, you know, you can have my FICO, you can check on that myself. It's a great thing to sign mm -hmm. up for. You get notifications if something, you know, starts to slip and you just really have to stay on top of it. Yeah. And that's another topic to talk about later on your FICO scores and what you need to do. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions on the credit scores, what to do, what not to do, comment below. We can get those answered. And Heather, thank you. Of course for giving us a topic on how to improve your credit score. It's simple, but yet we need to do that, right? Thanks guys.